and welcome back to Team Daniel. Now, many, many of you may know that we have been reviewing certain technology. Just recently, we have reviewed the AirPods and the Gear Icon X. Just recently, we start. We just bought the you know Galaxy Buds, which are right in front of you. Ah, uh, we were interested in them. We were skeptical about these Galaxy Buds. What did Samsung make, and what is the Samsung's flagship headphones? We all know that Apple has been you know releasing these AirPods, and they just re recently released the Generation Two AirPods, or whatever you might want, might might want to call them AirPods Two or whatnot. And today we're gonna put to the test the Galaxy Buds against the AirPods. Also, I want you guys to know, we have merch, www.zazzle.com slash Team Daniel. Go check that out. Also, we got an Instagram. The link will be in the description. So check us out. Follow us on social media to stay updated with us and what we do because we do quite some things on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter. So with that being said and without further ado, let's get into this now. So here are the AirPods, and if you are not affiliated or situated with what these AirPods can do, go click the video before this one, the review video, and you will be updated and then come back here for the views. Uh, so let's, uh, these are the AirPods, they're quite simple, they're just uh, two little uh, AirPods, like, like the AirPods are, uh, it's practically the same thing, if we look at them, here's the right one, here's the left one, and all of that. Um, and I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this knows what AirPods were, to somehow seen AirPods, and all that. Uh, with that being said, let's get into the Galaxy Buds. Now, the Galaxy Buds have this kind of like open up the top action. Uh, on the gear icon, you actually have to press a button for the case to open. But now they've kind of got this like a uh, like a proposal thing, you know? Like uh, just, just picture getting on your knees and opening this up, huh? All right. Uh, but with the uh, with here we have the AirPods and the size comparison, they are significantly smaller in size. Um, now the AirPods have this like toothpickish design with the uh, dental floss case. Now I'm just messing with you, but you you kind of have this thing where it's the AirPods are kind of like the earpods. They just uh, go into your ear like this. And the sound would come in, you know, and all that. But then, here are the Galaxy Buds. And supposedly with the Galaxy Buds, they're supposed to stay tighter and snugger in your ears. And I don't know about that. So for me personally, I like the way the Galaxy Buds stay in your ear. And just for reference, here are the AirPods and the Galaxy Buds. Um, with, from the top of my head, you can straight up say that the Galaxy Buds have way more sound isolation because, you know, A, they are buds themselves, so you kind of get this nice sound isolation in your ear, which is great when you're uh, running around the city and you don't want to hear that, you know, city noise. Um, you know, also this, this is great because it ties into the function that Samsung has, have, has created, you know, uh, the ambient sound function, which we actually will show you guys. And with that being said, let's go check a look at what they have in the box. The box itself. It is quite a small box with the buds. You know, if we look at the Gear Icon X box, it's not really as fancy and schnazzy as the buds. Uh, you know, mostly because they are so huge. But the Gear Icon X is its own special case. The buds, on the other hand, are a, in a white box and they have these quintralized, uh, you know, letters where, you know, they kind of... It's, it's cool! So the box says that they have six hours of playtime plus seven hours with the charging case. It has clear call and sound quality. So when you call on the Galaxy Buds, there's actually an internal microphone which picks up bass frequencies that you emit uh, on your skin. Basically, that's how you know sound works. The sound waves actually repel in a basal frequency. So there are actually four microphones on the buds themselves. If you have, if you count both of them, there's one inside, there's one outside, and then on um, same thing with the left and right side. Next, uh, wireless charging, which is actually a very important fact. That's why I got this little wireless charger over here. 
and they ha they're designed for comfort and stability. Uh, you know, we can say a lot of things about that. So, buds, let's open it up and see what's in it. Oh, wow. So, here we have the buds themselves, which we'll take, we just took a look at, so that's there. And it comes with this little box, which is, whoa. Well, this, let's just say Samsung, you know, tried hard with the box. What comes here is, you know, USB, USB Type-C connector, yes, um, USB Type-C charger. And all of these wingtips and earpieces, I can just get them out. Yes, yeah, so here we have wingtips and a couple earpieces. Um, not as much as the Gear Icon X because the Gear Icon X actually gave us a uh, bag with a lot, a lot, a lot of earpieces, which actually Samsung could have done more on. They could have uh, elaborated more with uh, the uh, Gear Icon X, but really, this is what you get in the box out of total uh, in total. Uh, bam. So this is what you get in the box. There is a... Where is the box itself? It's right here. There is a nice Samsung... What is it? What do we have here? It's a Samsung. It's basically a notebook guide. It's a manual, user manual. No one is interested in that. Everything's digital these days, you know? It's a simple thing. So, all right. So that what's, that's, what's, that's what basically comes in the box, and that's basically what's inside the box itself. Now that we color, we got the color black because, you know, it was the one that was in stock, so that's how we did it. Alright, let's move on to the application and the simplicity of these. Basically, what, ha what this app offers is that it offers, you know, the entire, you know, entirety of this, the AirPods themselves, uh, the Galaxy Buds themselves, I keep getting confused. It shows the left charging, the right charging, and it has a little equalizer that you can adjust. Um, like this. Uh, you also have your notifications, your touchpad, which you can lock the touchpad, which is really convenient. You can just quickly lock it when you you know you're not using it. Uh, and you have like these little uh, adjustments that you can see. you can put this to the like what you want. Uh, what you could do is quick ambient sound, which I didn't set up because I don't want quick ambient sound. I can just hold down the right side and that's it and ambient sound turns on so what ambient sound is is that basically I can hear what's going on in the room using the microphones that are here which means that I don't have to take the butt out of my ear I can keep it in when someone's talking to me it's really convenient and I can hear an eavesdrop on the conversations people are having because everyone thinks that I can't hear anything with my headphones in my ear which is a really convenient tool for some people um, but on the left side I have set up Bigsby uh, which is a uh, That, that, that. Bigsby is that. Yeah, Bigsby is Bigsby. So that, with that being said, I have the ambient sound settings, which I can actually use to um, catch onto a voice. So whenever someone, you, whenever you're talking to someone that's, let's say, to the right of you, it would focus on the person on the right side. Uh, so you know, you know, the voice would focus instead of you know hearing everything. Instead of listening to the cars, you can listen to the person instead of that, which is really convenient because, you know, why wouldn't that be? And there's Find My Earbuds, which actually is a really convenient tool for some people because I've actually had instances where my friend has lost his AirPods. Uh, it's, it's been like that, you know, and this is really convenient because you can, hey, put down your Galaxy Buds and, hey, start it. And you hear it. Please, Mr. Cameraman. Wow, it's loud. It's like I'm listening to the birds chirping themselves. Let's stop that because, you know, I don't want to annoy anyone. But wow, that's just wow. That is what it is. That is crazy. You can actually drop your Galaxy Bud. I don't recommend doing it, but you can drop your Galaxy Bud and say, Hey, I lost it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Bam. Bam. So... With that being said, the box says that these things are comfortable. Uh, let's let's test that out real quick. I'm gonna put the right one in my ear, and I'm gonna put an AirPod in my ear. I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna compare what it is. Oh. So with the AirPod in my ear, I would not say that it is comfortable in my ear. The reason being is my ears are you know made for something to be inside them. 
but also my ears aren't really made for something to be clipped onto them. It's different for many people because I know people that are more comfortable with these in their ears instead of the Galaxy Buds. So I've been asking people around as to like, you know, how comfortable they are in your ears and, stu and stuff. Uh, with looks, um, I feel like the, Air uh, the Galaxy Buds are a little cleaner because you don't really notice it coming out of your ear. But then again, the, you know, the, the AirPods are white and it kind of blends in with me. So I don't know. It, the Galaxy Buds are sure they are smaller and the microphone is in a convenient spot because the, AirPod, the Galaxy Buds microphone faces down this way. And the, the AirPods microphone faces down this way, which means that the right ones will probably hear more than the left ones. That is, you know, the aspect of you being on call and all. Uh, you know, the AirPods, uh, Daniel, do the AirPods have the ambient sound function? They don't. They do? Alright, I have to look into that one. I'm actually not sure if the AirPods have the ambient sound function, but I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, Daniel's been telling me that, you know, they have the ambient sound function. Um... So yeah, they, they both, you know, kind of have the same thing in common. They have the ambient sound. And like, it's really convenient to have ambient sound because you want to be hearing what people are saying without taking out the headphones. And which is really cool. Uh, here's a little size comparison. Mr. Cameraman, please zoom in. The size of the AirPods compared to the Galaxy Buds. The size of the AirPods, the Galaxy Buds case, Versus the AirPods case. Um, this has the similar to Gear Icon X design in terms of its pill shape. The pill shape, you know, it's, it's actually really small. It's significantly smaller than the Gear Icon X. <coughs> you know, and the AirPods have this kind of rectangular slash triangular design where it's just a little, you know, triangle and all that. And all you have to do is you know, kind of slide in your uh, AirPods. And wow, simplicity. And then all you have to do is just put these things in. Wow. Innovation. With that. Alright, with that being said, we're going to compare the charging capability, if I may say. So what we have here is a wireless charger. And we tested this last time. All we're going to do right now is we're going to put the AirPods on the wireless charger. These are the AirPods Generation 1. And they do not wirelessly charge, unfortunately. But Generation 2, they do wirelessly charge. Well, we're, we're going to put Generation 2 to the test as well, but the Generation 1s do not wirelessly charge. And now we have the Galaxy Buds. Bam. Do they wirelessly charge? Daniel, can you see if they wirelessly charge? Can you please tell me out loud? No, you can't tell me out loud? All right. So they do wirelessly charge, and the charging time is actually, you know, surprisingly less than the AirPods. The AirPods have how much, have how much uh, 14 hours of playtime with the charging case, and these have around, you know, 7 to 8 hours, which is less, but are we paying for quality? We are about to find out. Now, price comparison. These things are valued at how much now, Daniel? 180? 180? 180, and, you know, they're increasing. But surprisingly, these are in higher demand than these are. These are worth, uh, worth at around 130, if I'm not mistaken. 130 or 140, somewhere there. So these are actually, you know, a quarter of the, you know, a quarter is taken off. So these are, this is like three quarters of this. So with, I can buy this and then I can buy a bunch of ice cream for the price of these. Or I can buy two of these and three of these or, or you, you know, you know. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put these bad boys in our ears and we're going to test out the sound. And I am going to tell you. AKG has made the sound while on the AirPods, um, uh, you know, Beats did the sound for the AirPods, uh, which Beats did a really stunning job with the sound because there's a lot of clarity and bass here, but there's not a lot of high end. They're focused on bass. Uh, what I've heard, I, have, I haven't actually had to, uh, had to listen with these. Uh, what I've heard so far is that these things have a lot of high end. So, we'll see. I'm going to put on some music right now, and let's see what they sound like. Alright, I had a listen. They are actually quite disappointing. There's not a lot of bass in them. 
and uh, that's really what you're gonna lose at uh, the price that they are because there's not enough bass in these headphones I'm actually used to the airpods at the point of now because there's so much bass in the airpods and there's not a lot of bass here there's a lot of clarity here so these are good when you're watching a YouTube video like such as this one you know but these are good uh, when you're listening to, you know, uh, our Spotify playlist or our uh, SoundCloud, you know. So the Galaxy Buds trade off and the Apple AirPods trade off, you know. There's always a marksman, you know, for when you're buying cheaper, there's always something that's going to, you know, overrule that. You know, you're going to lose something when you're going to gain something. You know, out of everything, I would have actually put the Galaxy Buds at a, you know, a lower worth than the AirPods. And I actually have my reasons is because the quality sound isn't good. The quality of the sound here isn't good. But they did astonish me in the fact that I do not I do not need to have this with me. I don't need to have this with me. I can just have this with me and I can adjust what I want, when I want, whenever I want. And I'm not limited to a double tap. I'm not limited to any of those. I can double tap, triple tap, you know, quadruple tap, you know, I don't I don't think you can quadruple tap on this, but if I want something, I can quickly adjust it here. I like the fact that, you know, you can EQ this, you can change the EQ on this, and then you're probably thinking, hey, Daniel, why aren't you just going to EQ the bass in? You can't really EQ the bass in, even though this has a bass boost function. It's kind of a little wacky in a way, so I think Samsung should actually improve on that. But, you know, what I would say about the, you know, Galaxy Buds is I would give them an 8 out of 10, and the AirPods I would give also an 8 out of 10. They are actually practically the same thing because the sound quality overrules the fact that the airpods can't do some things that this can so you know actually i would put worth these at the same same you know same line these are more expensive you know maybe i would value these over that because you're not really losing a lot when you're gaining a lot but you're losing a lot with this because you're wasting 180 dollars of your money 180 dollars right uh of your money on just some headphones that make you look cool and I honestly for Apple AirPods I think you're paying for the brand I don't want to you know say that out loud but really you're paying for the brand when you're getting the Apple AirPods you know and if it wasn't for the brand I wouldn't have you know reviewed them I wouldn't have you know put them to the test but the Galaxy Buds they get the 8 because they are they lack the sound. They lack in sound quality. And you're, you're probably asking, you know, you're probably thinking like, yo, Daniel, you've been listening to them for how long? Three seconds? I've been listening to, you know, I, we just opened, we just got these, but we actually made this video in, you know, a long span. So uh, we actually, I've been listening to these for a week between the beginning of the video and now. And, you know, it's really, you, you lack in certain things when you get this. You lack in the sound quality, but you get, you know, you, what, you, what do you gain? You gain all these ear tips that are adjustable. You, you know, you, get, you gain wireless charging, which is really convenient because, you know, everything is wirelessly charged now. The Samsung, you know, Samsung just wirelessly charges everything. I can charge my, you know, Air Galaxy Buds. I can charge my watch. I can charge my phone if I wanted to. And that's really what gets it. So, you know, these these would have been valued a little bit more. But, you know, unfortunately, they don't get up there because they do lack in a lot of sound quality. So, out of 8 out of 10, also 8 out of 10. If you guys want me to go in-depth or look, take an in-depth look, please comment down below. Don't forget to check out our merchandise that I've, you know, uh, advertised in the beginning. Uh, we just got this sick hat. And, you know... Uh, you know, just tell your friends about this channel because when I give one thousand, when I get one thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a merch giveaway, and you heard me right, a merch giveaway. Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I'm giving you that merch. I'm gonna get you that fire merch. Maverick merch? No. Get this merch. Well, I'm gonna give it away. So when we hit a thousand subscribers, please. The merch, it can be yours, it can be yours at any time, just subscribe, you know, share this with your friends, give us a like if you may, please, uh, and you know, comment down below as to what you want to see, what do you want to see more of, you know, drum covers, you know, everything, you know, if you want us to cover a certain song, you can actually go on our Instagram and comment on the video that you should know what I'm talking about if you have, so please, check out our Instagram, and you know, don't forget to keep calm and drum on.